today a dream is coming true guys i get to see the pandas the giant pandas here in china so i'm very happy to be here in chengdu literally the home of the giant pandas at the biggest research center that they have here i was very kindly invited by the sicc which is like a tourism board here in chengdu they put me up in a fabulous hotel and are going to be showing me around they have a lot of useful information for visitors that are coming here so i will have them linked in the the description but yeah pandas are just so cute and I remember that that was one of the first soft toys that I had when I first came to Canada so I think that kind of imprinted in my mind of just like I love pandas I want to see them and since it is rare to actually see them in places outside of China this is super special This was everything I was hoping it would be, guys. Oh my gosh. There are so many pandas here. Like we haven't even gotten to all the enclosures, but there is quite a few. And I'm surprised how close you can get. Like the actual fence is not that high. And if they actually come up to the fence, because they do have a big area to walk around, it is just so cool. Like they are just so fluffy and I mean, kind of clumsy looking, but I think that's part of their charm. Absolutely adorable. So I'm here with Sebastian today <laughs> and uh, you're going to be showing me around the giant pandas. Are you so excited? Yeah, for sure. I'm so excited. The last time I visited here is about 10 years ago. This really changes a lot and now I'm here with Elena to witness the changes. Yeah, and there's so many pandas here, right? It's not yeah, just like sure. two or three. I think there's like 20 or something. Yeah, it's even more. Yeah, amazing. This is crazy, guys. We were just about to get in line to see Wahua, yeah? Wahua. <laughs> and uh, I thought the line, you know, okay, it's a little bit long, but you read the sign and it's an hour and a half, two hour long wait. Like there are other enclosures where you don't have to wait as long, but to see the most famous, I guess, panda, it's gonna take a while. We had a great rest of the afternoon seeing more pandas. I was even able to get a latte with a panda print. <laughs> it was very difficult to drink because it was so pretty. But a few things that I wanted to mention for any of you who are thinking of coming here, it is highly advised to visit in the morning, right when the park opens at 7.30 a.m. I believe, because that's when the pandas are most active. Usually around 12, 1 p.m. they are already getting quite sleepy and usually tuck away in a quieter spot and you won't be able to see them. 
So just make sure you come as early as possible. The park is about a 30 to 40 minute drive outside of downtown Chengdu. To book your ticket, the official channel is on WeChat. And when you come to the park, make sure you have your passport because without it, you won't be able to get in. This was absolutely one of my top highlights in visiting China and I think it is absolutely worth the trip to Chengdu just for this one place. But as you'll see further along in my video, there is also so much else to see. Wow, look at this hot pot situation we got going on. I am here with the ISCC crew. <laughs> Guys, could you tell me like, what are we doing here? Hello. <laughs> hey everyone, so this is a traditional local Sichuan hot pot. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there are different kinds of organs here. So you mm -hmm. may be surprised why Sichuan Chinese people really focus on different kinds of organs. But I have to say, this is the essence of the traditional hot pot. Mm -hmm. So if you come to Sichuan, try the traditional authentic Sichuan hot pot mm -hmm. with orchids. Awesome, I'm so excited to try this. One thing I can say about this trip to Chengdu is I ate like a queen. <laughs> These guys took me to so many incredible restaurants and I tried such a wide variety of food from street food to really fancy restaurants. I really got to experience a wide range of Sichuan cuisine on this trip. Some standout favorites were of course the hot pot but also the mapo tofu I really liked and of course the foreigner favorite kung pao chicken. <laughs> It was substantially tastier here than anything I've had in North America. So if you guys are foodies and like to try new things, Chengdu has such a wide variety of restaurants, something for every budget and absolutely delicious. Well, good morning guys. Today we are trying on some traditional outfits here in Chengdu. I'm going to be picking out a favorite and then we are going to do hair and makeup also in the traditional way and go for a photo shoot in the park. We just got to People's Park and we are at a sort of tea house where the Sichuan Opera is going to take place in just a couple of minutes. But until then, we got some really nice snacks.
this is something that I've heard about, but I'm only seen for the first time. Yeah. Sebastian, where are we right now? Now we are in the Kapuling corner in uh -huh. the People's Park right now. It's the place when Chengdu's younger people out of age and their parents won't force them to find a couple to get the rest of their life. They will come here and posting the ads right here. Oh my gosh. And so um, what do the ads usually talk about? Hmm, they talk about their individual information like um, age and a salary and uh, a living place and like this. Okay, yeah. Have you heard of any couples that have actually gotten together because of these sorts of places? Oh, actually, no, because uh -huh. uh, maybe youngers over 30. Yeah. Their parents will force them to do things like this, but we are 20 years old, so it's too young to find a couple, right? Here. You still got time. <laughs> yeah, I still got full of time. <laughs> What's interesting is they have literal forms, and I'm surprised to see they even have a little bit in English. Of course, it's all filled out in Chinese. Um, is there one that kind of jumps out at you that's kind of interesting, Sebastian? So here, this is the year that I was born, 1991. A little bit shorter than me. Is this a male or female? Uh, female. Female. And could you tell me about her? College graduated, teacher, beautiful, divorced. Oh. Um, good economy. And his mother is retired and is single children. Okay. He's, he's oh, trying. she has one child. I one one child. Yeah. And she's gonna find a male was born after 1985, and, and that is. Oh, to has to be taller than a meter seventy-five. So like three. She wants somebody three inches taller than yeah, her. And it has to be graduated from college. Yeah. And has stable work job. Yeah. Had a healthy body, and should be outgoing and handsome. Nice. Well, I mean, that's what every lady is looking for, right? So here we are on Jinli Street, guys. This is a very popular place to go to, more so in the evening, because all the lights come on, and there's a lot of great local restaurants, shops, lots of people just come here to hang out. Really great place to put on your list. And that is it guys, that is my tour of Chengdu. I had an incredible time in this city, but did realize that I did not plan enough time here. There is so much to see and do. So I will definitely be back, but I really do want to say a very big thank you to the Sichuan International Communication Center. Everyone on the team was so incredibly kind at showing me around and welcoming me to the city. So I'm going to have a link in the description to their website. They have some helpful articles for anybody who is thinking of visiting. And I would love to hear in the comments from you guys, have you been to Chengdu? What were some of your favorite places? Do you love pandas? 
as much as I do, I would love to know. Tomorrow I will actually be off to Kunming, which is also supposed to be a really cool city, but a ways away from uh, Chengdu. It is about six hours on the train. So that is going to be my next video. Very excited. And as always, I'm sending you guys so much love. I hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.